Previously on Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. My name is no, I don't even want to know it. You're just cop. You're cop 123 to me. I like what? I like cop 96 myself. You're nothing compared to him. Nothing. And now back to being dead. Hello. This is Sneaky B. Back with some more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. When we last left off, we stopped the Ru Rube Goldberg from murdering another person. Cause God, he's a crazy psychopath, isn't he? <laughs> You know, that actually, I don't know if anyone else noticed this, but uh, that actually, that, that last uh, case can remind me of, uh, of a skit from Family Guy. Where, like, the same thing happened where, like, it's like Peter sitting at a, pick, at a table and it's like this device is supposed to make him breakfast and it just shoots it just shoots him shoots him in the arm with a gun. And he's like, the fuck was the point of that? Anyway, let's continue where we left off. Chapter 6, 9.03 p.m. Lost memories of self, a forgotten murder case, a dead guy and a detective join forces to find out the truth behind them both. Detective assigned the dead guy a task to sneak into prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it that about it at that moment. Also, why am I still doing shit for you when when you've done absolutely zero for me and I've saved you like thirty times? So, oh, I see. That's what this is for. So I get back across the room. I see. Yes, I know he's got a little speech bubble. Can I? I, I, I kind of just want to go. <laughs> okay, I do want to hear what these guys say. <laughs> it's it's all over me. It's all it's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. <laughs> and then the detectives matching matching blue hands, blue and green, yelled at me. Oh, forget about all that. Now you listen to me, kid. I got a pigeon on my head. Uh, yes, I, I, I know that. <laughs> yes, I decided you should know. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Wait! Please give me, pardon me, words of wisdom. Yes, sir. Your bright as the sun lane doesn't, probably doesn't exist, probably doesn't even know you exist. <laughs> and those detectives will probably yell at you your whole life, because you suck. <laughs> you will never accomplish anything, and you will die alone. <laughs> How's that for a pep talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever, I don't, I'm not good at this stuff. Never mind fretting about your little every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what get what you can out of it. Uh, Mister. Uh, would you mind just fucking off? Because you suck at this. Ah, uh, whatever. I tried. Come on, Polly, my pigeon. Polly the pigeon. <laughs> stop pooping on me. No, oh, no. Now stop pooping. Okay, wait. Where am I going again? <laughs> going to the um. Uniform men's office. That's gonna be it. To the prison. I like she didn't really tell me what prison I had to go to. She's just like, you know that prison. <laughs> the only prison in this game. Oh, uh, okay. So how the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprised me coming from you. I don't know you. You thought about such things. By the way, that was that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Oh yeah, I just went, I just went that way, bitch. Two hours in this time. I guess we just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, I'm gonna put up another little note. The atmosphere sure seems tense. So let's get back to my work as well. Being a ghost. I want to find? I want you to go find the certain prisoner's work schedule for work tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given a different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. His prison number is D99. Alrighty then, how do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Trick time! Oh, I got my choice of two memos this time. Ooh. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and use this one then. See if I gotta catch it again. Oh, like, he, like, he, just, he senses it coming. Like, oh, hey, he dropped a memo. My memo dropping senses are tingling. Hey, Bailey. <laughs> what is he got? Dropping up your memos a little better next time. Seriously. <laughs> this is like the 18th time today. Let me see this thing. Inspection. Prisoner C-74. Oh, it's almost, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C-74, eh? What did, that, what did that big whale do anyway? You don't know about the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro, who what? Ho, ho what? <laughs> C-74 barricaded himself in the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. 
He even pointed him a huge flamethrower at the chief commissioner. Holy fuck, a flamethrower? Damn, <laughs> that's hardcore. I know, dude, it was like a Batman movie. It was fucking insane. <laughs> and Christian Bale was there too for some reason, we don't know why. Why the heck did he do all that? This was the detectives who surrounded him, asked him too. What the fuck do you want, dude? What do you think you want, they said. And? The guy looked confused, thought, it, thought about it for a while and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double, dude. Give me some double, dude. <laughs> curry and rice, that's it. That's it. God damn. <laughs> I know, dude. It probably costs as much. It, it probably... <laughs> that flamethrower had to cost at least like 18 curry and rice. <laughs> he didn't really think of that head very well, did he? Fortunately, no, even after he was done eating. He torched the commissioner's office with the flame, with the flamethrower. Torch again, dude. In case I didn't get that across. Damn. Poor documents, commissioner's mustache. We're destroying with the flame. Commissioner's mustache. Oh no, not my mustache. Why? Why, God? No! <laughs> what the heck did he do all that for? Because the car was too spicy, spicy he said. They went on a murder rampage and killed everybody. The end. <laughs> Huh? It was too spicy and I just and I just lost it, he said. The fuck? <laughs> I know that's what I said, dude. The guy sent shockwaves throughout the country. What well, doesn't make any sense in the first place? How did a huge arm guy make it all the way in the in the commission's office alone? It's a complete mystery, dude. Where the fuck get a flamethrower? <laughs> Why the hell did they give him the curry chicken anyway? Couldn't they have just shot him in the face? I know dude. None of this makes any sense. Why don't they just ask the 74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national security. Also, if this is on the news, why the hell don't you know about it? I don't know. I don't watch TV. I don't believe in television. But there's a TV right there, dude. And it exists. Shut up. You don't know anything, Bailey. You don't know You don't know me. You don't know my problems. Huh. <laughs> Would you go throw my important duty away? Wait, my... Important duty memos? Son of a bitch, I keep forgetting to jump off when I get over there. Okay, I guess I'll do this one then. Here comes another one. Jump off. Hey, Bailey. Oh god, what is it now? Okay, off I go. Emergency switch. Alright, let's see what they have to say though. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly. Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C-38 in the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You know, I told me that earlier, C-38, eh? What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? Who what? <laughs> C-38 was a singer in a, in a band. This group was playing in a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. It was like... Bah, bah, bah. A huge incident? What was that? What was it, a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than murder, because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? Uh, national secrets? A rock band? What the fuck? I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I saw they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics said 30, 30 it was seen were completely different than usual. And how is that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics are supposed to all the nation's dark steeds see me, see me secrets. See me? <laughs> I think we did a typo there, dude. <laughs> Damn, that's <laughs> that's a pretty epic way to reveal a country's secrets. Bunch of misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, solicit dealings, everything, dude. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. What? Really? <laughs> the case just saw which throughout the country. Just like the other thing that sent shockwaves throughout the country. I fired yesterday, and that also sent shockwaves throughout the country. Or at least throughout the office. And also horrible smell. So like round next, dude. I know. I was there. <laughs> But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery, dude. Just like the other thing. But why don't they just ask C-38 himself? I'm beginning to see a pattern here, dude. But maybe they did, but they didn't release anything yet. It's all about national, national security. Huh. All right, well, you know the drill. I'm going to throw this in the trash, and you're going to flip out. <laughs> oh, damn it. How did you do that? How did you know I was going to do that? I'm a fucking mind reader. I don't know. You can throw away my important movie, Duty Memos. Nope. I'm just gonna sit here and play a shuffle of my cards. All right, well, let's go ahead and hit the emergency switch. Holy shit. What the hell? 
Holy balls! Are you going in full around with that thing? Holy shit! Is it go time? Is it go time now? No, it's not go time, Bailey. T calm your tits, man. Dude, oh my god! Oh, it's go time! He grabs one of the machine guns. No, Bailey, no! No, we're going to, we're going to do this! Come on, let's go, man! <laughs> he jumps, goes leaving out of scares. I'm going to go down to Blaze of Glory! <laughs> I didn't even realize he's making a little, he's making a little tower of the cards. Wasn't me. Don't lie, you know, you love to see me jump up and pray for emergency. I was so ready, man. Oh yeah, sure, way back when I first got this job. I have enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same. You do the wah thing and you kind of strike a pose on chair. It's really weird. Oh, girl, girl, that's my girl sounding. It's me angry. Mercy Switch probably doesn't lose, probably because I fooled around with it too much. Ha! <laughs> it's waiting for emergency, so don't play with it, dude. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe I ought to get, get it repaired, huh? I'll close it back up. It's making me feel on edge, man. There's fucking guns right there, dude. They could, like, I don't know, shoot my eye out or something. How the hell are you gonna do that? I mean, really. How are you gonna shoot your eye out when it's all the way over there? I don't know, dude. What if there's some kind of horrible ghosty figure here and he decides to possess one of the guns and then the bug falls down and shoots me right in the leg or something, dude? That is ridiculous, Bailey, alright? That is no such thing as ghosts, alright? Then what's that ghostly pain? Is this rubbing against your leg, dude? Wait, what the? Oh my god! <laughs> ah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are pain to you? What a sad, sad state of affairs. Ah, uh, okay, now I can move around freely, right? Oh, damn it! Why can't I? Why can't I react with the bazooka? <laughs> right up this guy's ass. <laughs> hey, Bailey. Yeah, what's going on? I think I got a rocket. I think I got a rocket up my ass. You mind getting that for me? I don't know. What's in it for me, dude? <laughs> no, nothing, I guess. Okay, now what do I do? Uh, so I just gonna stay. Okay, so I guess I can go across easily now. Uh, oh, is is that? No. No, just to let loose another one, maybe. Ooh. Damn, dude. <laughs> Hey, Bailey. Oh, God, what is it? Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. Oh, here we go. This is who I've been looking for. Chef's preparing for him right now. Oh, how fancy. D99, eh? Even I, even I know about this one. Yeah. Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. Shaw's wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. Oh, shit. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do that? Do it. Crazy psychopath. Why would he why would he do something like that of all people? The motive of everything. It's all a complete mystery, dude. It's, it's just ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense that he would do anything. It makes sense that he would do anything like that. Well I'm guessing he must be like a cop or something. That's probably why, or some important figure. I don't know the details, but apparently. This case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it makes any fucking sense. No one I ah. I don't understand. I don't understand why is my hat so low on my face? I can't see anything. I don't even know what you look like, Bailey. <laughs> you don't know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. Oh. Did you know? So, so for for national, uh, well, a, a matter of national security, I guess. So this guy must be bad, mofo. But why would he be here? That seems kind of weird. He killed he killed his wife, and that sounds I mean, you know, it doesn't sound like a matter of national security. That did not who knows where he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his. Oh my god. He's gave like oh he's gave like an epic beard. Looks like Paul Bunyan, dude. I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99, was convicted of murder, eh? And apparently he has a beard. A man beard. Alright, whatever. I'm throwing threat. <laughs> See, every time. Every fucking time. It's like clockwork. You just do it. Would you go throw away my important duty members? Nope. I'm gonna do what I want. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and put up another memo. I'm sure that's gonna work. It's time. <laughs> it's time. Oh, shit. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> we marched in there. What the fuck? I guess I must be the rock star of national security. <laughs> He's 
Oh, he's... Oh, look at that. Oh, he did it. Look at it. There, it's done. Now I can make my way up there, can I? That's it. Yes. Thank you for building that car tower. Okay. Now hit the button. <laughs> the guy's like, what the hell? No. Son of a... Son of a bitch. Stay close. What? What the hell, you stupid... Oh. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I see, I didn't realize I could grab the door handle like that. Okay. Oop. Okay, and to the guitar. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. This is a way for that spaggy-haired dude to express himself. Through rock! Oh, yeah! Simmons like, I'm hungry, or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. He also uses it to smash things and kill his prey. <laughs> Rockstar, hungry, Rockstar, smash! Hell yeah, peace out. I'm dumb, bitch. Get, it, get me out of here. Oh, this is gonna be, I'm the perfect character to be using this voice with. All right, all right, C C thirty eight, back to your cell. Hey, God, man, how about you give me a little space? All right, how about you back the fuck up? That crazy walk over yours is dangerous, man. Dangerous? Ah, oh, it's like me, my look at my hair. Look at this hair. A proper walk for a properly lead li li life. Now let's go. No, yo, no lectures, man. I want, I want my own path, my own way, my own music. Ah, ah, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm a rock star, bitch. Woo! I'm a rock star. I suppose I could have given the Eddie Van Halen, but I've already kind of done that by this point. So I finally made it to the cells. Now to find Prisoner D99 and check out his, his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lin possibly want with that information? Okay, so which one of these guys is it? Oh god! Yeah, damn! Damn! I don't think I can take another second in this stinking pit. I'm so bored with my rock solo. Nobody can hear me. Looks like all man's gone. Oh! Score! What the? I threw a piece of paper in the toilet. I was waiting to wipe me out. Us will finally do it. Go go go, baby! What the hell? He flushed a piece of paper down the toilet? Why? Come on, sausage head. What am I doing? What the hell was the point of that? That was weird. I know, let's play the drums. Uh, uh. Huh. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. D99 has a has a beard. This, there's one of those little blackboards that said it would be in the cell. Maybe I should check out S Spocky's schedule for tomorrow. Oh, I see. Okay, I can ride the guitar a bit further over. Here we go. Yeah, move over here. There you go. Something even. This is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Maybe just give it a little read. Hmm. It appears to be blank. <laughs> nope. Tonight I have a lot. I have lost a lot of things, my life, my memory, but there's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. Uh, I can't read? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh I, I didn't realize he was... I thought he meant the guy... Who, the, I thought he meant the rocker guy had written that on the board. I was like, what? Uh, it's weird. I can write things on boards, but I can't read them. <laughs> No, okay, Sissel can't read. I see there's some kind of writing on the blackboard. Motherfucker. I have absolutely no idea what the hell it says. If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do? Dictionary. I need a dictionary. Okay, we got the toilet. Ooh. Oh, I got a phone here. This telephone looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the place I can go with this telephone are other phones in the building that I've already possessed. I see. Okay, that's cool. So I can get back to the guard room pretty easily. This looks like it's going to be a complicated one. There's like... Ooh, I know. Let's press the emergency button. 
an emergency button. Emergency in a prison. That's got to be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Oh, God. Shit's about to go down, isn't it? No, 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 no. Hi ho, Silver! <laughs> la la! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! That was quite an uproar, I guess. But each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. Might be fun to watch. So if I want to change my my view, I can slide the screen, or I can. Oh, I see. Maybe here will give me a clue about my next step. I saw that other that kid ended up flushing a piece of paper down. That's probably where I gotta go. That one's empty. What the hell is he doing? Is that Homer Simpson with a really massive head? Oh, it, and it went to him. What about him? That's probably the guy I need to get to. I, I think he has a beard, doesn't he? You know, he gives a shit, though, doesn't he? Oh, clear! Okay, so that's probably... I gotta... He, he threw an X down there, I believe, so... So if I sound the alarm, it confuses people moving. Maybe I can get their movements to get around myself. That way I can get an idea of what's going on in each cell. Oh. Is he throwing one away now? Yep, he is. Yes. Yes. Oh, there we go. I see. So he he's throwing it down there to let people know when it's clear, right? Go, yeah, baby! And away I go! Whee! Oh, I see, you got a little... <laughs> oh, what the hell are you supposed to be? Oh, uh, is this the, this is the guy that... Is this the guy that had a flamethrower with bananas? He's supposed to be like a chef or something? He's got... <laughs> Dude, he looks like, Homer, like a really messed up Homer Simpson. Is that his head? It's like... Uh, that's one really weird looking head there. Okay. Holy sh Oh, I see. He's giving the signal when to dig. I see. Ha! Trick time! New info has been added. By the looks of him, that must be the curry lever from the police department's siege case. Ah, the curry lever. Okay, yes. But never mind that. Where did he go? What's going on in the cell? Anyway, there's a little blackboard here, too. Just be safe. Maybe I better check the curry lever schedule for tomorrow, too. Even though I can't fucking read it. Still can't read, but better go check out the prisoner D D9 cell anyway. Maybe I can find some information that might help Lynn out. Besides, I want to see what this prisoner Lynn is Vessi looks like. Okay, uh, I can get this guy to come back probably, right, from ringing? Alright, ring, baby! Ring! Oh, there we go. So pressing. Damn, he comes out fast, doesn't he? Oh, he's got the spoon. That's what I need. I can't reach it, though. Oh, there we go. Ha! Damn, it was fast. Look at him go. Yes! Hell yeah! Same thing here. Looks like it's just an internal phone. It doesn't call us out. The only place I can go in the telephone or other phones in the building that I've already possessed. Alright, now I can see what this guy looks like. Yep. He's a bearded painter. Hmm. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside it, he seems to be enjoying himself. La la la. It's fun being. <laughs> it's fun being in jail. Lou, lou, lou. It's the last cell, last cell in this area. So that means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guard said. D99. Even I know about this one. Yeah. Shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. That's fucked up. When the world really happened, why is Lynn so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to no need for me to know. I have only one objective, and that's to find out the painter's work schedule for tomorrow. Trick time. Okay. Uh. Oh, open. I can open this. I didn't, I didn't even see that. What we got here? Photos, eh? I wonder if these are of his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby, and made their faces 
Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Do you do it have hatred or some other emotion? I guess like I need to I, I need to know right now. We got here. Newspaper article has been cut out in frame. Unfortunately, I can't I can't read it. Probably about D99's case, man, murder's wife or something like that. Picture of the alleged culprit in the picture. Yep, it's this prisoner, all right. All right. So the work schedule for tomorrow. Present prisoner D99. The information Liz is looking for should be written on this blackboard. Fortunately, I can't read. <laughs> I'm not a big kid now. Oh, I need I need hooked on phonics. God, do you guys remember those commercials? God, they used to show them all the fucking time. Hooked on phonics. Get your kids to know what the, the hell a word is in a letter. Get them to stop being lazy bastards and playing video games all day. You mean like you are right now, Nico? Yes, that's right. But but I can still read these these text boxes. Woo! That's right. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Uh, what could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all. I think something was written on the other on the blackboards of the other prisoners, but this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung there. Oh, okay. So I have the answer for the Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for pre prisoner D99 is nothing. Oh, he's gonna be executed or something, isn't he? Does this information mean anything to her? Stop to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment anyway. Trick time! Now what do I do? I have to brush read what he says here. Being able not, to, be, not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D-99 works schedule for tomorrow is blank. I'm going to get some important information to Lynn as fast as I can. Okay. Alright. Whoa. D-99 dinner! Son of a bitch. Some, something's going to fucking happen. To... Dude's a big chicken bone. Quite a feast tonight, I see. Oh, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I say it's, it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99, I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but it's just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree, it's, pointl it's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken has been forgotten by everybody, myself included. Detective Joe. Oh, he is. A, I, I thought he'd be like a cop or something. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. So piss off. There's one more thing I've been wondering about for a long time. And what's that? Who was the man in that painting? Oh, this. Well, being in prison like this, you start to forgive. So I forget faces, you know? So I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. <gasps> what? Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure, sorry to bother you. What the hell? He knows Sissel? Oh, snap. This shit just got bananas. So there is a point for me be to be being here. What in the world? What in the world could this mean? Why is there paying at me in this man's cell? Oh my god. So we're connected to this somehow after all. Who exactly is this prisoner? The man who, whose case Lynn is investigating is a, pa it's a painting of a picture of me in a cell. What the doodle. I have to go see Lynn fast. And not for her sake. For mine to solve this mystery of me. Of me! The mystery of me. Look at him eat, gobbling up his shit. He's like, mmm, yummy. Open the waste basket. I don't know why I would, but I'm just seeing if it did something. Okay, well, let's go to the phone here and go back to the guard's office. What does this connect to the outside? I've got questions I want to ask Lynn. I've got to get to the... There's an external line. Yes, I know that. Just do the thing that I'm... Alright. Guard room. Oh god, this is like a, this is like a, uh, looks like a sassy police chief. This is not what? What's the stash over there? Oh, chief, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer, then? One more hour, sir. 
I say, carry on then. Oh, oh one more thing. Inspector Cavanella wishes to speak to you. Oh yeah, disco stew, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Evening, Cabanella here. How you boys doing? It's better Cabanella, I'm fine, sir. You got another little call night, didn't you, for, for my baby? From Lim Dum, well, yes. Did my girl say anything? Yeah, wait, no, I'm, I'm not, not the right voice here. Rocker God, uh, how does that go again? <laughs> Did my girl have anything to say? Have anything interesting to say? There we go. Oh, not especially showing up almost immediately. <laughs> I see. Next time she gives you, gives you a buzz, be sure to let, let me know right away. <laughs> oh, that's a good fella. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up, and I'll make sure you regret it very much. Very much. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll call you right away. <laughs> Don't forget, she's, she, she's a fugitive after all. <laughs> yes, sir. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. I am fucking up this voice here. <laughs> yes, sir. Look forward to seeing you, sir. I might pop in a little later. I. <laughs> I haven't done the rocker guy voice enough. All right, sorry. <laughs> I should be in the kitchen, chicken kitchen now. But the call from police headquarters intrigues me. Pretty obvious right now. The white suited inspector suspects Lynch. It might be considered a future. That's not good. I wonder if I should check in on the chief and the inspector in white too. Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her too. You're Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cabanella, what a special investigation you want with Lynn? I don't know. I guess something happened that we don't want, we don't know about. Night of all nights. The fuck? Well, at least I finished my leading tower of blow wine. Inspector <laughs> Cabanella must be upset tonight too. Weren't he in D99? Detective Jared, good friends. Ah, uh, sure about that. If they were such good friends, how come Inspector Cabanella came to, ever came to visit him? Special investigation. He's heading special investigation. He's a busy man. Whoa. Who oh, was wrong? Chow was my hero, you know. I want to be a detective because of him. But look at me. I away in a place like this. I can't even do anything to help Lynn. What am I doing with my life? Talking to you, Bailey. You suck. You suck, Bailey. This new side of you is kind of endearing, dude. Look off. <laughs> anyway, thing is. Thing to do is work and fix it what you can, little by little. Like for example, your house of cards. It's collapsed, you know. <laughs> I'm a fucking disgrace. I'm a fucking disgrace. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Don't care. Bye bye. <laughs> He's just keeping his face down there. I, I, I failed. I failed you. All right, let's go. Where should I go? Okay, external line. Should I go here? Might as well, right? <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> you think I have his shoe off? Perfect is gonna be going smoothly over the present. And it's right to We were a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not, not much for some. We had, we had point X surrounded all night, baby. If he shows up, we can nab him, and we can, we can still and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case? The gun count murder. She did it, eh? No question about it. <laughs> She's a bad little baby. Oh yeah, she did. She needs a she needs a spanking. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Disappearing from the scene like that. I wonder where she ran off to play. What did you just say? She did it. Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No way. I don't, no way she killed me. I wouldn't, I don't believe it. Trick time! He does have his shoe off, what is he doing? He's like crunching up his little toes. Ew. <laughs> Inspector, you mind putting on, put, mind putting your shoes back on, baby? <laughs> it smells like smelly feet in here, baby. <laughs> I just don't believe it, why would she do, why would she do something like that? I don't know the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet, after seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that a security camera tape? The investigation you just delivered. I can't deny. It's some pretty solid evidence against her. Oh. What? Evidence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like it, baby. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop, bitch. 
buy a murder case now. Take it apart tonight. I don't know, my loud talking police friend. Tistin, I think you got you have that wrong, Chief. Murder case now for the very reason that it is such an important night. Make you make you crunch my toes up. All right, raise the antenna. Rawr! Uh, now lower. He's <laughs> like, the hell is going on here? Now let's operate it. Let's see this shit. This freaking evidence. Don't care where I died as a security camera to capture the moment of my death perfectly. What the chief showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. What the hell? He's gonna show her killing him? Uh oh. Hey, uh, how's it going? <laughs> it's me, Sissel. You know, your best friend. I come deliver that information. You better not shoot me, please. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, oh god, this fence is electric. <laughs> oh shit! No, don't shoot me, dude! Like she missed the first time. Ow! <laughs> what the hell? Why did you shoot me, damn it? Oh, so she's been lying to me this whole time? So much of shot right before my own eyes by Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I died all over again. One thing sticks with me, though. Lynn looks so surprised on that tape. What the world did I tell her? Probably something not good. I like it they don't even, like, care that that shit just came on. Truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. I think it was probably some ghosts in here, baby. Oh, by the way, Spider Capital, I'm showing on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had to look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but. The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Yeah, he's right, that is strange. The man in black is the one who kicked me downstairs, but I, but I changed his face, so he shouldn't have. should have been out of the picture. Oh. Yeah, that's true. So my body should still be up where it was. There I am, down the lower level. It's weird. Somebody else come and kick me down? I have the answer right to your mystery right here. A few minutes after the murder took place. Uh-oh. What? Oh, you kitty now! <laughs> Mr. Kitty, what are you doing? You knocked my lifeless corpse down there. That's not nice. Oh, look at the kitty. That kitty. That's what he had. To, he was carrying a kitty in a bag. Is that what he... Is that a black cop? You got it, baby. A fur feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the right. Huh. This my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. <laughs> Bad Mr. Kitty. Bad Mr. Kitty. That's his poor next coming, Chief. I'm in the middle of toe crunching. What is it? <laughs> did, he, did he show up? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Not yet. Idiot, I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. But this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. Our rookie detective lid. Oh, God. What? What's going on now, baby? You see my baby over there, do you? Her chief's on the lamp. What do you want me to do, chief? What do you say, inspector? Ha <laughs> ha hoo. I'm hey, ha. Detective, get my baby away from point X. Do it now, man, and then hold on to her. Yes, sir, I'll get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Brian Bono show up at point X? During his personal investigation, you only six months to be in that location. Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. Uh, what? What happened? Did I get come in? Holy shit. Now what? What happened this time? Damn it. This calls for a telephone telephone call. This calls for a telephone call to point X. Allow me. Oh yeah. Even in distress, I still dance around like a little like a little goober. 
All right, let's go. Damn it, I can't. Oh wait, I just gotta move this thing. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. That guy's moving his feet around a lot. What are you doing? Get your buns over here. What did you? What did you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like for our poor hungry customers who have their food deliveries delayed. Excuse me, but this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police? There's something happened there you need assistance with. Something happened here, you ask? More like there's nothing left to hear. I got to go. Wait. Wait. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I saw a dead body there. What's going on? Something that's what. Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for sure, certain. Snap, crackle, pop. I'm on the case. Thanks to the tea, Chief. I'll, I'll be on my way. You're going to Point X. Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's some other, some place else I gotta be. Inspector, your being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? Ah, uh, his friend. He's talking about his friend. He's gonna Detective Chow, probably. He's probably gonna be executed or something, so he's gonna go to that. I have responsibility. I'm gonna see through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do my you must then. All right, baby. Scooby dee doo doo. I'm going through the door. Boop, 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 boop. What a weird, what a weird bastard. Preserve you and I schedule for tomorrow's blank. Seems like for, forever ago that I found out, and now my mind's even blanker than that blackboard was. <laughs> Lynn, my only lead, my partner shot me. What it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen, the point X the police have surrounded, and the place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? God damn, she's probably. She's probably be fucking dead again, and I bet she will be. <laughs> and I'll be like, are you fucking kidding me? Stupid dying people. So I guess I did I have a choice there, like where I could go to see Lynn or I'm guessing I'd probably end up having to go to the police department first. Shit. Wow. This is getting crazy. I don't know what's going on. Like Okay, I get in Cabanilla and Jow were friends. I'm guessing Jow then, like, I don't think Cabanilla is the father. Although she keeps calling, he keeps calling Lynn her ba his baby, but I don't know. Maybe Jow is the father then or something. I don't know. And I don't know. He knows Sissel somehow. Uh, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna end here for now. Like, if you enjoyed, subscribe now and hop aboard the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.